how to upload new qcode to image and create a virtual machine using openstack cli so first we need to download the qcode to image so go to cloudimages.ubuntu.com then select your the your ubuntu release so for this tutorial i am going to download ubuntu 12.04 so select this ubuntu server so i already downloaded this so it's 249 mb so you can use the file command to check the type so it's qcow version 2 image see kumo qcow image version 2 okay so you have to log in as demo user if you are using devstack go to the devstack folder and run and search the openrc file as demo user like this and then execute the cli command okay go to your devstack folder and search the openrc then specify the username and project name as demo okay then let me check the option of glance image create glance help then die command image hyphen create this will print the options which we can use with the create image so you can see name container format file is public minus minus progress so I am going to use those options those options to upload that QCOW2 image to the clients so let me open this local RC file this is my so here I specified this local RC file I specify I enabled Newton okay that's not necessary that is not important to upload upload QQ2 to the clients I am just showing my configuration then upload upload the qq2 image so you have to so this is the qq2 image i'm going to upload then the command plants image create then minus minus progress this though that will show the progress the name of the image the name for the image then the format qcow2 then the container format bear then the that image should be public then the name of the qcow2 image which i need to upload so you can see the progress here it's uploading okay done so this is the output let me 
run glance image list so here you can see the id image id name disk format q 2 canada format bear size then status active so i uploaded the image mm. you can list if you want to delete you can delete like this glance image delete then the id okay then i am going to add some rules to the default security group then create a vm from using that uploaded image okay let me first add uh, the icmb and ssh rule to the default security group then create a key pair and download private key let me go to the horizon dashboard so first i am going to add the so this should be demo select the demo project because i have uploaded the image q2 image as the demo user into the demo project then select the default security group then manage click on this manage rules then let me delete the all these default rules and then i will create new icmb and ssh rule add icmb ingress okay then add icmb egress then add ssh So we need to add this SSH tool and ICMB tool if you want to ping to your VM or SSH into your VM. Then HTTP. HTTPS. Okay, that's enough. So the default security group is ready. Next, create a key pair and download private key. Public key will automatically push to the VM by OpenStack. So you can use this Nova key pair add command to create the key pair. So let me before that let me check the security group. So default security group is there. Let me check the roles inside that default security group. So you can use the CLI also if you want. See, ICMB is there, SSH is there, HTTP and HTTPS. So, okay. Okay, now I can create the key pair. Now I keep pair list. There is no key pair. Let me add one. Now I keep pair add. Name of the key pair key P1. Then we need, I'm save, I saved the private key to my private key.txt file. So let me change the permission of my private key file copy it 
you may open it so this is my private key you need to change the permission then we can create the VM using that key and security group everything so let me list the image so and copy the ID of the image then you can use Nova boot command to create the virtual machine Nova boot then name of the VM keep a security group then flavor and image so that will automatically take the default security group that we don't need to specify so we can just say you can use this only this information key pair flavor and image then vm name now upboard so it's created a vm let me check now our list okay it's creating you can see the task state it's spawning power state no state still is spawning task state is spawning only status is build name of the vm you are so you can see it's still spawning status is build power state is no state spawning if you um, wait okay okay power state is running tax state none status is active you can see the network private IP here you can see the private IP of the VM So I can ping to that private IP. No, no, I cannot. It's host destination host unreachable. Let me do the wish list so I can see the name of the VM here. Let me let me op open the VM console. VNC viewer. So let me the port number. Here you can see uh, zero. So this will open the console of that virtual machine. Still, it's not reachable, being not working. Okay, now it's working, so it will take some time to boot that vm that's why ping was not working now it's working because the vm is booted i mean vm is running now only is vm is running that's why now i can ping let me open the console i think now i can see the console so we have to wait Okay, now it's ready. You can see the login page. You can log in.
Let me SSH to the VM because I am add the SSH role to the default security group so I can SSH with my private key SSH minus I then the key then the IP of the virtual machine yeah here IP is the private IP of the virtual machine so you can SSH to the virtual machine from the host machine so getting some permission error because I haven't changed the permission of this file actually I missed that I missed a step so ch mod 700 okay okay no I think again SSH into that VM again it's getting permission denied So I have to specify the uh, username. Okay, root at ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Otherwise, it will take the. It will try to search to the other thing. My is that my current username. No, I think it's will work. Okay. Mm, okay, it's working. So you have to specify the root username. See if you do if config inside that VM, you can see the private IP in that each zero interface. Okay, this way you can upload a QCOV2 image and create a VM using CLI.